so welcome to another learn closure video so in this video we are going to see about trading macros so uh, let's get started and yeah let me start putting examples and let me start explaining it to you right so so like okay like let me launch my vs codeian so so here it is and i think i need to launch ripple right so right so okay we have got it let me copy the port number uh and i don't need the terminal so let me just shrink it so and now i need to start a ripple and uh, okay uh okay i need to choose this option connect to running ripple not in this project right so that's the thing and of course lin engine and let me put the port number and i just got it so let me just create a new file and uh save it okay and uh let me just uh give it a heading like what heading shall I give? Okay, trading, e h r e a d i n g. That is the file name. Dot c l j. Hopefully, this is being recognized as a closure file. Let me just check it. I just want to remove all other things. I, uh, my brain just wants to concentrate on just one thing. So I just take out every other distraction. So let me make it bigger and let. Me Let's put it press one and one and option enter or alt enter and you're getting it so yeah this thing works right so right okay so uh right if you uh think about trading like uh in other languages you might think like multi-trading or like uh uh okay like using the same process but running uh code parallelly and all those things so that like uh, what to say like it executes a little bit faster than running with a single thread or something like that but this is totally different in closure right so trading is a way of it's kind of syntactic sugar you can say right so that's what trading is let me just show how right so okay to find a power of a number so what you can do do is like okay mat dot power and let's say the number is five and uh, or you're just raising it to the power of two so this you'll just get it as 25 right so in trading what you can do is like you can just put like this and uh, just put five over here and uh, yeah like now you can just give mat dot power two right so what really happens is closure kind of Okay, let me just execute this option enter. Yeah, the same uh, uh, 25. But what closure does is uh, it kind of writes it, rewrites it, this way, rewrites it like this. So I don't know whether thread is actually a function or a macro. I, I think it's a macro, right? So that's the thing, right? Macros are nothing but like closure taking your code and forming it into another closure code. So that's the thing. That's That's what is called as macro, right? So yeah. So this, okay, this is called a stretch pass. That's because uh, it takes this file and whatever thing you pass, this function, it puts it as the first argument, right? So so it becomes like this one, right? Uh, math power 5, 2. So both gives the same answer. So yes, so this is called a stretch pass, right? So that's the thing. And uh, that's how it works. So now, yeah, let's put another example. Look, if you're learning, please do type it on your own. Let me also just type it on my own. Like, uh, it's not like I'm just, uh, yeah, okay, this AI tag. Okay, so, right. So, let me just put ink over here, right? So, and no need to put braces over here. You can just put uh, INC that is very, very convenient in closure, right? So, that's how it is. And so, what really happens is, okay, let me just first execute it. You're getting 26. So, Closure rewrites this as like this one. Okay, so like first you have this math power and uh, it takes this and puts it as the first argument. So you will just get 5, 2. 
and okay this is there so this now has been traded so this now has been traded to ink okay so so this is now being traded to ink or increment right so uh like okay let me just execute this so this in fact gets rewritten as something like this one right so you can rewrite this as just put ink over here and uh, that's it right so that's the thing right so this is how closure trading works right so so this is how yeah trade first works yeah so like uh, let's look at other stuff right so yeah like now let's see what happens with ship right so okay and now uh, uh, even before executing let me just try it okay so so now this becomes something like this one so this becomes something like this one so i'll just take the inc and just put it over here right inc and just put it over here and uh, this is how this becomes right uh, let me just execute it right so yeah this is 27 right okay so now this is also 27 right so now how to simplify this for our understanding right so now this will become like uh, you just put this star and two over here this is a trade first so it so it gets passed as a first argument to the star right so let's remove this one so now let me just execute it still 27 and now let me just uh just uh, what to say like uh okay now it's just plus five right so i'll just copy this put it over here okay so okay so let me just put like plus and five over here right so since this is straight first this entire stuff gets passed to this uh as first argument to this plus right so that's how it is right so now let me just execute it it's 27 so this is how okay from this one trade uh, kind of uh, rewrites to this one actually no need to put this arrow over here right so that's the thing right? and we can also remove these braces over here right so right so that's the thing and it's still 27 right so this is how this is how uh, you you can imagine like the straight converts this into this one right so that's how it works right so okay now let's look at trade last okay so uh in trade last okay uh okay like this is the first now we are just using we are just look, looking at trade last and this is trade first okay so that's how it is and uh, okay now let me just execute this and then explain right so right okay so now i'm just executing now it becomes 32 so so do you think this one put this as the first argument or a last argument so let's check it out so so it is mac power phi 2 is 25 but uh what to say mac power uh max and uh power power and 2 phi is 32 so what actually this trading did is it just took it and put it as a last argument right so that's how it just did so let me just remove this one to avoid confusion so 2 power 5 is what 32 right so that's how it works okay yeah you can rewrite it like this one and yeah i'm just putting it like increment so so what really happens is okay like yeah this one gets reduced to uh mat power uh 2 phi and it becomes 32 and 32 goes to this increment and becomes 33 so that's how it works right so yeah this gets rewritten as this one right look i'm just copying and pasting but if you're learning please write it by yourself and maybe write it step by step right so write it step by step so that you will understand right so maybe you can write it like this one like what i just did it right and see every step whether it's giving the same answer this is very good uh, stuff about 
ripple driven development like uh, you can uh, what to say like uh, uh, this lot of your stuff very very quickly uh, compared to other languages right so uh, that's the thing right so yeah so you might think okay look i have this straight first straight last but what if you want to pass it to some arbitrary position or something like that yes there is a way to do that and it is called a straight as okay so but yeah i'm just uh okay like uh, uh let me just put a heading over here yeah this is straight as straight as right so yeah or maybe let me just put this into brackets so that right so okay so uh okay so now what happens over here is okay uh this phi gets loaded to this variable x now you can pass this x anywhere it could be the first argument or it could be the last argument so now i've just passed it as first argument or anywhere the argument in the middle or whatever it is right so so now what I can just do is I can make I can just put X over here and now it's my will, right? So right, so that's how it is. Right? So yes. So another one is conditional trading, right? So uh, so we'll just see what it is. So uh, okay. So depending on condition, uh, the trading executes. Okay, so. okay right so so now what happens over here is okay let me just execute okay so you're getting 22 uh, that is a vector inside 22 inside a vector right so so first uh, 11 gets assigned to e and that's the job of let right so that's the thing and next you have this condition right so and uh, over here you're just passing this uh, what to say a vector over here so this means straight first you're not putting two arrows you're just that is that you're not having two arrowheads you're just only having one arrowhead so that means straight first so this can be rewritten as right so without trading right so uh, this can be rewritten as let me just copy and paste it right so yes okay. this can be rewritten as this one right so like okay so since this is straight first uh this uh what to say like uh okay since this is straight first this vector is being passed as first argument to this conj over here and over here so if a is odd yeah like a gets multiplied by two and uh, what to say it gets printed and all those yeah. things so let me just execute it yes okay and a gets multiplied by two and now this conch executes so 22 goes into this vector and that's how it is now uh let me just put another number like uh, a is 12 or something like that and what happens is okay it's even so actually it happens over here right so even and uh, this gets rewritten as this one right so right so let me just put it for your reference over here right so so okay so this is even and uh, this thing gets passed to conj over here so it becomes this one right and then uh this okay 12 by 2 is 6 and then what happens is like the 6 gets loaded into this vector right so that's how it is so this is what conditional trading conditional trading first is and conditional trading last i think i didn't do a very good example right so let me just try another one out so i think i also need to change something in my book right so okay look uh i just want to put it as three okay over here right so okay so first a is 10 so uh okay so a is 10 right and a is even right so this gets passed at the last okay so what is a by 2 so it is 10 by 2 so we can write it like this one right? so uh okay right so we can uh okay so we can write it like this one right so mm -hmm. uh just con and 
what to say like uh, like okay since this is thread last okay we can just put it something like this one like three over here just put it at the last right so and three over here so okay so a is 10 so uh, 10 by 2 is 5 and 5 by 3 is 5 by 3 uh, yeah it's a rational number sorry it's a irrational number. I, I don't know like i think it's a irrational number so yeah so it keeps on going right so i think it's irrational number. so that's the thing right so uh okay what is 5 by 3 okay like let me just put type of this one and get it it's a ratio in closure yeah it's a ratio um okay so but yeah i think it's an irrational number because i think it goes like okay 1.66666 or something like that so uh, that's uh you can't uh imagine it how many six are there and so uh, like it's kind of irrational like <laughs> number so that's the thing so yeah a is 10 and it gets divided by 2 because a is even and then it gets divided by 3 okay so now let's put something like a is 11 right so okay a is 11 right and we'll just execute it so this one comes okay odd a it gets okay yeah let me put this for sure right so, so and let me also execute this one right? so this is this is also five by three right so that's the thing right and now let me just put like a is 11 right so and let me execute uh, let me just explain over here itself okay so even if a is true so over here this gets rewritten as okay like e, uh, okay like slash uh sorry odd of a is true so this gets rewritten like this one like uh, uh star a to three that is like 11 into 2 into 3 what is 11 into 2 is 22 and that into 3 is 66 and that's what gets executed so this is what trading is i don't think uh, i've comprehensively covered trading i'm not sure like uh, there could be some other stuff over here i've just put just one and all those things which is very very silly and all those stuff and uh dividing something by one and multiplying something by one is not at all right uh i need to do something else right so uh, i need to put something like three or something like that uh and uh do it so that uh, it becomes far better right the examples become far better right so uh that's the thing so i think i need to uh touch upon these sections more so yeah but yeah for now this is how i've written trading in my closure book uh thanks for watching